want it easy, we want it badly But I can get what I want Too much pressure, too much pleasure But not much to rely on back to my channel it is Brittany um so today's video is brought to you by hair so fly so they actually sent me I requested this wig probably in October but I didn't get around to doing it in November and this is a half wig this this is sensationals heartbreaker half wig in the color number two um, I requested it knowing it was a half wig and then I was kind of dreading doing the review just because Fooling with my natural hair can be really annoying sometimes, but I was like, at least this is a textured wig. Um, this is from Sensational's Curls, Kinks, and Co. collection. And um, here is the model on the stock card here. She looks very pretty. So this whole collection is a textured, they are textured units and if you, <laughs> have watched my channel for even just like the past week I have been raving about textured wigs but I've I've loved textured wigs for a while so earlier this year I reviewed Sensational's Rainmaker the half wig and I wore it in a half up half down style like I have it now but Rainmaker is a little bit shorter it's probably about 14 inches this one this one is about I'm gonna say about 20 inches and I'm six feet tall. So if you're shorter than me, it's gonna be a lot longer than that. So they do have a half wig version and they have a full wig version. I wanna try the full wig version to see if I would like it. Cause even if it's too full, now that I've learned about thinning my wigs out and I saw, you know, is that your hair do that? I'm doing that with like all of my really full wigs. So um, I'm willing to try that wig. So I have it in a number two, as I told you guys. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I applied this wig, blended it with my hair. I'm gonna be looking real rough, y'all. Um, I, I filmed this when I was waking up this, I like woke up this morning, did my hair on camera without makeup and everything. So I'm looking real rough, but it's all good. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I do that and then I'll be back at the end to tell you what I think about this wig and um, what I rated and everything like that. So if you're interested in the tutorial on how I got this half up half down style with Heartbreaker, then keep on watching. All right guys, so here's the tutorial part. The whole tutorial part is gonna be blurry, so forgive me. So that's why I'm doing a voiceover so I can just, you know, tell you what I'm doing. So the first thing I did was, you guys see my natural hair. My natural hair is type four, it is very thick. So what I had to do was I took my blow dryer and a big paddle brush and I just kind of um, put some heat on it to stretch it a bit. And then I put my hair in a ponytail and then I put it in like a little bun. Uh, you can just wear it in a ponytail and not do it in the bun. Um, it just depends on what you want to do. But sometimes it's kind of hard for my hair to blend with the actual hair of the wig because my hair is getting a little bit longer. So that's why I put it in a bun. So then um, I started to gather, um, section off the upper part of the half wig in order to put it up in a ponytail. And so I took the hair that I wanted to be in the ponytail from the half wig and I put it, and I combined it with my bun and I put a, a hair tie around the ponytail. And then um, I took a piece of the hair from the wig and I wrapped it around the base of my bun. Now my bun was kind of bulky, so um, that little part where I wrapped it around the base of it was kind of bulky too, but it still looks pretty good. Um, you probably wouldn't have that issue if you just let your ponytail be free and not like keep it in the bun, but it still turned out cute. So after I did that, I put it in, I put my head scarf around my edges just to keep them laid. And then um, I took my clips and stuff out and just started to fluff the wig out and that was pretty much it. Want it easy, want it badly, but I can get what I want. Too much pressure, too much pleasure, but not much to rely on. Your love ain't free, it's killing me. I want it to end all. Oh. Cause I've been trying, I've been waiting. 
for so long I'm waiting, 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 waiting Waiting, 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 waiting You saw the final look in the intro, but if you're interested in my lipstick, I'll list it in the description box because I know a lot of people want to know my lip combo sometimes. And this was a this was a, a new one, so I'll have it listed in the description box for you guys. So as far as this wig goes, this, like I told you guys, is a type four kind of texture. And with half wigs, if you don't know, they do require you to have some of your hair out, especially with this kind of style because it's longer. If it was like a fro or something, you could make it a full wig and you know not have any of your hair out. You could wear a headband with it if you wanted to, if you didn't want to have to blend your hair. But I knew I wanted to do the half up, half down style because I think it's just so youthful and sexy. And um, I enjoyed it when I did it with Rainmaker, so I wanted to do it again with this wig. So. As far as like shedding and stuff like that, I, d I won't be running my hands through this wig anyway. Um, so I have very minimal shedding and I wanted to maintain the curl pattern. So I fluffed it out a little bit, but um, not too much. Now with this wig, it is on the straighter side at the top kinda. So I like to see ponytails that are super full uh, when I see people, you know, wear them with wigs and stuff. So, um, this one actually looks pretty full. The way that looks, it's a nice full ponytail. The luster is, is really, really nice because it's that yakky texture, so you don't have to worry about it looking shiny and crazy out in public. I feel like it blends really well with my hair. Um, I put a little bit of eyeshadow at the front of my hairline in the center. I've always had like a thinner spot right there. So I wanted to kind of make it more consistent with my hairline. So I put just a little bit of matte black eyeshadow right there. Um, I use my edge booster, edge control to lay down my edges. And then I put a scarf, like a satin scarf around my edges. And I kept it on there for a long time because I did my makeup and stuff. I mean, I did my hair and then I took a shower and then I ate lunch. And then I did, I watched TV a little bit and then I did my makeup. So it's several hours after I plot this wig. I think this is very, very pretty. This is a lot of hair. Um, it does give you a really nice full look if you wear it all to the front. But um, I think I would probably wear one side back just to give like my neck and everything a little area to breathe. So I think I like it this way. This is a really cute style. I don't feel like it's anything really negative I can say. My hair in a ponytail first and then mixing the ponytail with the, with um, mixing my hair with the wig. I think it's not gonna tangle up as much because when I did, uh, when I applied Rainmaker earlier this year, the half wig version, I would have all of my hair out in the front and it would not be in a ponytail and then I blended with the ponytail and then I had a lot of issues with humpiness and stuff but I watched Kyra Shine's video today uh, that she did earlier this year as well and she put a lot of bobby pins in the front of her in front of her wig and it looked really flat and nice so I did use a lot of bobby pins um, to flatten the surface of my ponytail because I didn't want any hump action there. Still look cute because I had hump action in, with my Rainmaker, but it looks so much better and more like sleek when you put bobby pins and stuff around your edges, um, around the ponytail here. And Kyra Shine's hair at the time was, uh, she just had, she had a TWA. So that was a good solution. So if you do have a TWA and you want to wear these half, these half wigs and ponytails and stuff, half up, half down. You can do it, just watch her review as well. I'll put that on the info card. I'm gonna give this a 10. I'll, if I don't have a problem with a wig, I'm not gonna just try to find something. There's nothing wrong with this wig, it's beautiful. I like the vibe it gives me. It makes me feel youthful. Um, it's giving me Selena vibes, it's giving me 
It's my Ray Ray vibes. It's giving me 90s vibes. I don't have an issue with it at all. Um, so I am gonna give this wig a 10. If you are interested in this wig, you can head over to Hair So Fly and pick it up there. Y'all let me know what you think of this. Is this something that you would wear? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for the love on my videos in November. I know I was like shoving them videos down y'all throat in November, but I appreciate you guys supporting, um, especially the Outre Nisha videos. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and being just as excited about that collection as I was um, or as I am because I still want some of those. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Hair So Fly for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. I'm